This is Tracy Hart with WYRE Radio, and I'm so excited to be speaking with Midshipman First Class Eugene Yang, who was just appointed the Naval Academy Brigade Commander for the spring semester. Midshipman Yang, thank you so much for talking with me. No problem. It's my pleasure. Absolutely. So let's talk about the fact that you were just newly appointed the Naval Academy Brigade Commander. What exactly is that? The Brigade Commander at the Naval Academy is the, the highest ranking midshipman in charge of the entire organizational structure of the brigade, that is all 4,400 midshipmen at the Naval Academy. On a day-to-day basis, we just kind of make sure that everything is running smoothly, that we're, we're looking ahead for planning events or speaking with the, the higher-ups, the, the commandant of midshipmen and the deputy commandant of midshipmen, to let them know what our plans are for the brigade and just making sure we're taking care of, of everybody. So what was it about this position that really spoke to you? For me, the biggest thing was that I really want to serve my school. I want to give back to the Naval Academy. The Naval Academy has really taught me a lot. With my last semester especially, I wanted to be able to give something back in, in terms of service and my time and, and my efforts. So I was looking for the best way to do that. Naturally, I, I was drawn towards doing the most difficult job at the Naval Academy, and, and I think that that's being the brigade commander. It's very challenging, very stressful, but also a very rewarding job, and you get to impact all of the underclassmen. I think it's something that you get to see sometimes your impact on other people, and, and for me, that's, that's exciting. It, it's a challenge because I need to hopefully do it right, and that's ultimately what drew me into to wanting to serve the brigade as the brigade commander. This was a pretty tough interview process, wasn't it? It was a fairly stringent process, but you know, I was really prepared well by my mentors over the years and had many opportunities to kind of have experience with interview processes and you know, just kind of being confident in that kind of setting. This is your last semester, and you're going to be then going into the Marine Corps as a second lieutenant. How do you feel that this position is kind of preparing you for that role? I'm very lucky to be in this position, you know, just because I get so much interaction with officers. I get to see how the military chains of command work, the hierarchical structure. The people that I get to work with are just real, true blue professionals, great mentors, lessons that I'm learning, you know, and I think that probably the most valuable thing I'm learning right now is how to deal with failure on a a large scale, very heavily scrutinized by very important people, my failures have consequences that are felt, and it's just very a very real experience. Having the chance to learn how to lead humbly in, in a position where everyone's watching is really forcing me to kind of grow up and, and mature. And I think ultimately a lot of these lessons, I'm going to learn a lot about my leadership style and apply those to when I'm standing before Marines, trying to tell them, trying to help them and lead them and, and take care of them as best I can. So now, did you ever think when you first stepped foot on the Naval Academy grounds four years ago that you would be in this position now? Never. Never in my wildest dreams. And I really think that the, the credit goes to the Naval Academy, the Naval Academy process that really has changed me over the years and, and given me the, the confidence and the tools to grow and become a leader and go from you know where I was four years ago and to who I am today. It's really just been, I can't say good enough things to all the people that have helped me get to where I am today and have just kind of step-by-step built me up, not because it benefited them at all, but just for for my benefit, knowing that we're all on the same team, ultimately leading sailors and Marines in in very dicey situations. So for all those students out there in high school that maybe aren't sure whether or not they should go to the Naval Academy, what would you like to say to them? I would say to them that they should definitely apply. You never know until you try. And, you know, I never knew I was going to be the brigade commander until I tried. The academy is a real special place. And it's a real special place because of the people, the people that are drawn to this place, the things that we're asked to do, and just the ability to wake up every morning with a, a fresh new list of challenges and to go after it. You know, it doesn't cost you anything. There's no cost to apply to the Naval Academy. So if anyone out there is having doubts or anything, like you, you will lose nothing in trying to become the Naval Academy. I really think it's a special place and that if anyone thinks that this is something they might want to do, find out information, talk to people, you get in touch with alumni and just go for it, you know, go, go for your dreams. The one thing I'd say is that there's no formula to what makes a good leader. And, and I think that, that some people fall into that trap of thinking you need to be or act a certain way if you want to be the brigade commander or 
once you're the brigade commander, you need to be this way or be that way. My advice to anyone who's interested in the Naval Academy, my personal philosophy, I guess, is just to kind of be yourself, be your best self, and, and you bring something to the team when you don't try to fit into a mold of what you think everyone should be like you. And I think that's something that, that I've learned a lot over the last few weeks and continuing to struggle with managing expectations and being myself, being true to myself, while at the same time executing the duties of being the VA commander. Sometimes it's easy to get lost in, and sucked into the machine. might push you to be one way, and there are definitely things I need to and must do and will do. At the same time, there's a lot of room for my personality, my character, and that's something that, that we should all value no matter what, what situation, what organization, that just as leaders making an impact on those around us. To me, that's something very important to me. Well, thank you so much. It's been a real pleasure speaking with you. No problem. I've been speaking with Midshipman First Class Eugene Yang, who was just appointed the Naval Academy's Brigade Commander for the spring semester. I'm Tracy Hart with WYRE Radio.